kind of a nice, weird thing. It's an electric harpsichord with, with a speaker in it. It's so a digital, digital harpsichord. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of cool because you have all these other things. I thought Wes Anderson was going to go for this, to be honest with you, and he never really did. A very nice hat. Check that one out. Somebody, oh. somebody made those. those are um, and then uh, a hearing test. Do you want to... Want to have your hearing tested? You uh, I don't know. You might have seen these before. I don't know. They're the uh, automaton. Oh, it's a Japanese toy. It's a Japanese toy. Yeah, this is oh, wow. And you have different scales. Do a whole bass line on this. The pure Ubu version of the uh, of the Synthi AKS. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the Putney BC S3. Okay, CS3, yeah. It's an old modular mini. Okay, we just got some synthy style of those. the bass sound on this enough that we have been using on Jerry stage. Too. So yeah. when we got this we thought, oh that's that's great. That sounds okay. that's the sound we want to start using. So we put this out on stage and I remember the first I couple of shows we were playing Minneapolis or something the first show. We came out and we started the first song. It was going in there was like boom 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 okay. boom boom boom. And all of a sudden Jerry's bass went Moo! and I'm looking at him like what the hell? And he's looking at me like this. We found out that the lights from the stage were heating up this keyboard and making it play. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it yeah. took us like it's a couple shows it. to figure out what was going on. I would fire this out for you, but it's it would be complicated right now because you need to hook it to a shop vac, which I have in the other room, and I have the tubing, but I ran the tubing upstairs, and the thing's so heavy, I couldn't talk anybody here to help us carry it upstairs. Oh, so it's like a, it's a pipe organ where you use the shop vac? This is a Calliope, real oh. Calliope. It was in the 20s. Uh, when I bought it, it came with a, I still have it in the garage, there's a red and gold chariot, because this was, it originally belonged to the circus, and they had a couple things. It's a beautiful sound, and you know no records, right? You know what they sound Yeah, like. I mean, it was one of the original synthesizers, really. Yeah, yeah, and because, uh, yeah, you hear it like, it was, before there was, I mean, there was a theremin. There was always the theremin for, like, that kind right. of ethereal, ghostly sound, but this was the other choice, and this was the more beautiful one of the two. Now, this room, I have to say that six months ago, you would have walked in here, and we couldn't walk in. We would have just, like, a thin tunnel, and we would have had everything from arps and and all sorts of strange keyboards in here to choose from to look at. This is where the electronium lived too. Yeah, electronium was here. Tonto was right there, and the electronium was right there. There's the EML 500 that, for us, about the only thing we got useful out of it was a, a whip crack for um, whip it. But um, or, or in freedom of choice, a <laughs> the the in the factory sound came out of that thing. This is one of those oil can uh, rever reverbs. Oh, yeah. You know, this is an interesting box. Have you ever seen these, the polybox? Yeah, the yeah, it, it made your monophonic synthesizer polyphonic. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah. In a cat, you know, that's that was um, a, a ripoff of the Odyssey, and they got successfully sued and shut down. Octave weren't allowed to put out cats anymore. And they made this uh, synthesizer related to the rack mount synth called the Boyetra 8, which was one of my favorite analog synths ever. Sense. Really yeah. great sounding synth. Um, in 1980, Devo was rehearsing at a place called Modern Music, which, and it was a bunch of storefronts, and then there was one big room, and uh, Pink Floyd was rehearsing for a tour while we were writing songs. And so they backed up their semis, and they were loading all this stuff they were taking with them on tour, they were throwing these things in the trash, and I said, what are you doing with that? Can I have it? They had this old synthesizer. And he said, yeah, you can have that. He gave me, uh, Pink Floyd gave me an ondioline. 
And it still has all the stickers that they put on it when they oh were using it. Oh, my God. Um, this keyboard I love because it's the only keyboard that I ever found where, where when you needed tremolo, you went like this. It, it, it has a, the tremolo was built in, and it had a ribbon. It was like probably the oldest ribbon I've ever played. And if you were trying to figure out what it sounded like, just remember, um, which one am I thinking? Yeah. Runaway, Runaway. Del Shannon Runaway. Del Shannon, yeah. yeah. That real nasally yeah, kind of sounded that's like what a, it is. that's what that's yeah. And then over here is a collection. About five years ago, Daniel Lenoir went through a deacquisition phase too, and sold me about thirty some microphones from his uh, New Orleans studio, including a, a whole set of mics that he and Brian Eno bought, and they were used for Octoon Baby. I have a set of six matching, uh, matching Neumann mics for recording orchestra, um, oh. and just a oh, and so it's all yeah, you all have they're, they're all in cases protected as they should be. Uh, yeah. But there's like a lot of old and esoteric things. Here. M49B, that's some old Telefunken stuff too. Yeah, so, yeah. New mic. yeah, that's new ones. Uh, yeah, so that, but these are all oldies up here. First German East German Neumann. Oh my God! This is just this is like serious gear porn. This is I mean yeah, this is serious this is gear. Yeah. A mic collection to die for. Yeah. So that's kind of until we move all the gear back in here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of it for now. Mark, thank you very much. Your new album Streets, June fifteenth. You're going to be hearing a lot more from Devo. Visit them. Become part of the revolution of de-evolution at clubdevo.com. Mark. On behalf of everyone who reads Keyboard Magazine, thank you for showing us around. Sir, it's an honor to be at the magazine that we all need here at this building. Thank Did you. Did I say that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay.